Hi, this is our pet feeder project. We got a servo motor in here. We got a Raspberry Pi, a Pi camera. There's an infra, there's a motion sensor below this cover and then breadboard connecting everything, all the connections. It's 3D printed. <laughs> yeah, these parts are 3D printed. This is the servo case, which is connected to the servo motor and uh, we have the feed in here. So when the servo motor turns, a definite amount of feed, which is stored at the bottom, gets um, dispensed and the other thing we have servo printed is the mounting for the uh, for the motor as well as the mounting for the sensor and the camera so now we have our interface on blink so this is our interface we have last feed time last motion time and uh, buttons to do certain specific options so we have auto feed enable so if i turn auto feed enable it will automatically start dispensing feed so i'm going to turn it on now so as you can see it's going to dispense feed every two minutes but it can be set as per requirements the timing can be changed now we're going to do a manual feed this button does a manual feed so whenever I press that, it will dispense the con quantity of feed. I can show it to you again. And we also have another function for it to detect motion. So as you can see, now the last motion was detected at 16.25, but it's 16.26. So if I move my hand around there, this time gets updated to 16.26.26 but it didn't dispense feed because the timer is set to not dispense feed at a very short interval. interval and this counter at the side displays how many feeds are left in the bottle then the camera and the screen below is the camera feed so whatever is going on over there if the pet comes around over there you can see it in the camera feed